Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to Artistic Intentions Studios. I uh, have to apologize. I've been a little bit in my hay as of late. Okay, I don't really have a good reason. Um, it's just, I guess, the time of year. The time of the season, <laughs> the temperature. Um, right now, my fingers are freezing. <laughs> the studio is quite cold. I just have little space heaters to heat it right now. And uh, the paints get a little bit thicker, harder to manipulate. I don't know. No excuses. I just, just I apologize. I haven't been more present, but I promise myself and all of you that I will try to be more present in the future. Um, I probably will not go back to posting a video every day. That was a wonderful challenge and I'm grateful for Johnny Farrow to come up with such a challenge um, and I'm grateful that I was able to participate and complete the challenge. Um, I think it was really good for me to dedicate myself to something like that, to um, become part of a group like that. A lot of wonderful people in that group, very inspirational. Um, yeah, I think it really helped me creatively and um, it helped, it helped me to have to do something like that every day. It's, it's definitely a challenge for sure. It's, it's not easy. There's things that happen. Um, I mean, I went on vacation to my sister's house and I still had to figure out a way to make an appearance every day. And I, I made it work. So I don't know. I think it's a, it's a great thing just to push yourself creatively and commit to something like that. Um, I have other artist friends that were said there's no way that they could never do something like that. Um, but yeah, you can. You just have to, you know, you have to want to do it and you have to commit yourself and believe in yourself and you just have to put aside time every day and do it. And you know, there were days where I knew I wasn't going to be able to, so I would just do two videos in one day or three videos one day, you know, just whatever it took to get the 100 videos out. And I think it was an awesome, awesome thing to do. I'm glad I participated. So today, um, I was thinking, uh, I know you, um, you've seen the, uh, of course, the pours through the dish strainer and hopefully you've seen some of the pours that I do that I call a waterfall pour. It's not my invention or anything like that. I, I saw it a while back on somebody else's channel and I thought it was really cool and that's what they called it and I'm really sorry that I don't know whose channel I saw that on. Um, so I don't know who to give the credit to but I'm not going to take the credit myself. So I thought it would be interesting to do a waterfall style pouring pour in a dish strainer. So, you know, let's just humor me. Let's see what happens. 
So I have um, the regular mixture here. I put black down. All of these paints are um, from Hobby Lobby. They are Master's Touch uh, regular acrylics. Um, I have mixed them all with Floetrol and water. I've got the rouge, which is that magenta color. Um, the red is just permanent red. Then I have the orange, which is a medium orange. The yellow is medium yellow. Uh, then I have the turquoise, or the dark turquoise, which is actually a teal green. And then the light turquoise, which they call Viridian. So I've got this layered. They've all been mixed with Floetrol and water. And I'm just going to pour these through the strainer. I have um, the canvas covered in black, just because I thought it would be fun to have a background color. And like I said, these paints are really, it's, it's cold in here. I've got two heaters going. One of them tells me it's 32 in here. The other one says it's 49. I don't know what's right. Regardless, it's chilly. It's warming up a bit. But, um, yeah, my paints are a little slow going. Which, you know, could make for a fun painting. So there we go. I've got the whole cup poured into the strainer. And I'm getting some really cool patterns coming out. It's very psychedelic looking. Fun. So I'm just going to let this slowly pour out. Um, this side of the canvas over here is on risers, and this one is flat on the table. So it is at a slant. If you can't tell that, I'm sure you can tell in the video, but just in case. <laughs> Yeah, so we're slowly letting that pour out. I'm going to let this pour for a while. Um, I, I don't want it to all slide off the end of the canvas. So once it gets, you know, to a point that I like it, I may tilt it a little bit. I want to keep the fun, look at all the fun colors in here, very nice. I tried to use some really bright, fun colors. I think I'm going to lift this, most of the paint has poured through. find a place to set this. Alright. I hope that's fun. I made like a little star right there. I believe I'm going to torch this. Not only to pop bubbles, but also maybe I can heat the paint up a little bit. Because it is moving slower than normal because of the chill of the paint. This does work with resin. I assume it will work also with acrylics when they're this chilly. You know, it certainly seems that they are thicker. That's a really pretty colors in here, bright, bright colors, it's almost starting to look tie-dye over in here, there's a lot of really cool swirls happening, I'm going to help it out a little bit I think, I'm going to move it back this way just a touch, because I want it to come close to, I don't know, I don't want to ruin that star looking thing in the middle there. I would like to 
move it close to the edge, maybe spread it out a bit. Fun. Oh my gosh, guys, you should try this. It's a lot of fun. I'll tell you. It's great. I'm glad I decided to get on out here and get some stuff done. Get some moving around. I would like for this to come closer to the edge, if not over the edge. There we go. Now we're getting some movement back that direction. Starting to get what I'm after a little bit. I don't want to lose too much. I am going to let it roll over the edge a tad. Then I'm going to bring it back. Nice. All right. Now I would like for this other edge to come slightly over the edge. Probably would have been better off if I would have tried to do this a little slower. <laughs> but you know me and patience. I don't have any. Okay. I'm trying to pull this back just a little bit. Um, really liked that there was that kind of a star situation there where I lifted up the strainer. There's kind of a star with black, but now it's elongated. It's still cool, but... Just kind of uh, moving it around. This is the part in the, tr in the uh, pores where you actually have some control over the composition. I mean, no, it's not going to be exactly what you've got in your head and exactly what you want, but you can see how the paint is moving and um, the areas that you really like, you really like to want to accentuate, um, areas you'd prefer to be, you know, towards the center, just because it makes sense composition-wise, um, you can do that in this tilting. So I think that's, to me, that's what it makes it a true art form. I mean, people tend to say, well, you just, you just threw paint out you know, from a cup and let it do whatever it wanted to do and how is that art? Well, first of all, art is in the eye of the beholder, you know? It is what you think, what you, what, if you enjoy it, then it's beautiful to you and you would put it on your wall, then it's art. That's all it is. That's all there is to it, you know? And I really like this. So, I believe I'm going to stop there. Um, I did put this end up because I don't want to, this to continue to run off. I have made that mistake before, thinking it might look really cool just to keep letting it waterfall off the end. But I ended up losing some really cool um, details and lines along the sides. Um, but I really like the composition of this painting right now. I know that it's going to continue to move a bit, and that's fine. Um, but I don't want it to continue to pour off the end of the canvas. So I'm stopping it right there. I'm going to pause you, clean my hands up, and then we'll go in for a close-up. So hang on just a minute, guys.
All right, so we are back. Something has happened here to the... There we go. That's better. Um, somehow I made it really bright and the colors weren't being very true. So here's the other um, overall picture. Really love this. Let me go in close here. I'm going to go to the lower right hand corner. Uh, I'm probably going to have to touch this up. See, there's a little bit of black or canvas throwing through the, showing through the black there. So I'll go back in with my fingers and make sure that's spread out really well around the edges. But um, there's some really cool, these bright colors mixing in there as it flows over the edge. Very cool. This swirls around. Nice. And I love all these teals and blues and greens and yellows and how they're just kind of linear there and they move into this brighter center into like a purple and then back out into the greens again. Very fun. There are some cells popping through. You can see but a lot of linear details. There's a nice green stream running through the center off of this kind of black star here where the, get that glare off of there, where the um, strainer was sitting. So I think that's really cool. I love it, and the edges are just kind of feathering out. A little bit of uh, selling going on. Really cool. A lot of fun. I love this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Um, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe, that'd be great. I think I'm up to like 306 subscribers now. Woohoo! So exciting. And share this with your friends. Yeah. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Probably will not be another video for a few days. I have to get this dry and get it out of the way. My daughter had her ultrasound yesterday. Um, so they were able to see if it was a boy or a girl. They sealed it in an envelope, so I do not know. She doesn't know. Nobody knows, except for the tech, <laughs> the ultrasound tech who put it in the envelope. So, um, on Saturday, we're going to open the envelope, and I'm going to prepare a pour, which will be either pink or blue, in the colors palettes that she has uh, picked out. And that will be the way that we reveal the sex of the, of the baby. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't know how much of that I'll be able to share. She's kind of particular about, you know, what... She's kind of private. So, um, if nothing else, I will... When everybody's gone, I will um, shoot a quick video of, of what the outcome is, which... Honestly, that'll probably be how it happens <laughs> because I've got to also prepare the, the party and everything, so I won't have a lot of time to be behind the camera. But look at that. Those yellow cells over there. I just noticed. Love that. Oh my gosh. I hope this one dries well because I am really digging it right now. Let me know what you think, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Come back and see me again real soon post another video in a couple days. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Till next time, guys.